Nature lovers in Owego can now enjoy a path between two previously disconnected hiking trails thanks to an Eagle Scout project that put them back together. 12 News' Daniel Curran spoke with a scout who planned and ex executed the project over a two-year span. Two hiking trails in Owego that have been disconnected since flooding damaged the area in 2006 and 2011 are now reconnected after a bridge between the two was built for an Eagle Scout project. Luke Saunders of Troop 30 in Newark Valley has been in scouts for as long as he can remember. He says the Brick Pond Wetland Reserve area has always been a spot he's wanted to improve. Ever since I uh, started scouts pretty much, I've always wanted to do a project in this place. Well, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a nice local place and there's not really like that many places like this around this area. Luke's father and assistant scoutmaster Joe Saunders says the area holds a personal significance to the family. That's why Joe planted the idea of an Eagle Scout project at the Brick Pond Wetland Reserve for his son. We've, we've gone here as a family for a long time. It's just down the road. It's really kind of a quiet place, even though it's really next to a neighborhood. You know, if, uh, you can just see right across the road. There's really nice houses and whatnot. But, um, you know, we enjoyed picking berries here and stuff like that. And there's lots of wildlife. Luke says the project has been on his mind for two years. He created two bridges across the waterway and added stone to the ground to prevent flooding. Community members in Owego say they've enjoyed the new hiking path as Luke's father says his son put extra effort to ensure a great outcome. He's very focused, uh, you know, individual. So, like, um, you know, it, once he gets going with something, he's like, uh, you, you know, he kind of went above and beyond. You, you got uh, CAD software and kind of built some examples of what the bridge would look like so he could kind of do presentations of that. And, you know, I, you know, it was kind of unnecessary. He could have just sketched it out. Luke says the project wouldn't have been possible without the support of the community and his troop who helped him through long work days. I worked on it for three days during those two weeks, two nine-hour and one three-hour day. And I pretty much would just get up early in the morning, quickly eat, eat lunch, and head down, and then meet all the people up, tell them what we're going to do, help them plan it out, that type of thing. Luke is set to become an Eagle Scout now that the project is complete, a project that provided new views to the Owego community. Daniel Curran, 12 News, Tioga County.